Hi guys, it's Captain Scott here once again. Today, we're going to be talking about what could possibly prompt the pilots to abort a landing, also known as a go-around. A go-around is exactly what it sounds like. Discontinue the landing, take off, go around and come back for another landing. It is one of the most important elements in a pilot's training, where pilots need to be able to recognize and handle a landing that should not be continued. Why does it happen and what happens next? Here's a quick explanation on why do pilots abort a landing and how do they do it. Before we get into today's video, let's hit the subscribe button to watch more aviation related videos. Thanks for your support. The most common reason a plane goes around is weather. Planes are designed to approach the runway at a certain speed. Pilots will also have to make sure the plane is stabilized before a predetermined height to ensure a safe landing. So when the wind is overly strong, let's say due to a thunderstorm, it could create a strong tailwind from behind and the pilots are not able to slow it down enough to establish a safe landing. Or maybe it's a very strong crosswind from the side. The plane could not be straightened up in time to land safely. That's when the pilots will have to make the decision to abort the landing. Visibility is another common reason planes go around. On a day with heavy fog, haze or rain, the visibility might be so poor the runway can't be seen. Modern planes with sophisticated landing systems allows the pilots to fly lower and closer to try to locate the runway, but there's still a minimum. So if the pilots still can't positively identify it, they'll have to discontinue the landing. Another reason that doesn't happen very often, but sometimes it might, is traffic. More often than not, planes are lined up one after another for a landing. And if the plane in front could not land and vacate the runway quick enough, the plane behind are not allowed to land. So once the pilots have decided to abort the landing, they will then apply full power and climb away from the runway. Depending on the traffic flow, air traffic controller might bring the plane right back for another landing. Or let's say there are already a few aircraft sequence ahead. Pilots might be asked to conduct a holding pattern somewhere near the airport until it can be slotted into the approach sequence. This is also a question that some of passengers might have. Why is the plane going in circles? Now let's say the reason that led to the go around is due to poor weather and the plane could not return immediately for another landing. What do the pilots do then? That depends on how much more fuel does the plane have. If it's got enough to wait until the weather clears, then the pilots might go into a holding pattern and wait. But if the fuel is insufficient, then the pilots might have to divert to an alternate airport where the weather allows for a safe landing. Although it doesn't happen very often, but some of you might have experience ending up at another airport that is not your destination. At the end of the day, aircraft operations always go back to the number one priority, safety. All these procedures are created to prevent any unfortunate events as best as we can. Just like the old saying, it's always better safe than sorry. Now that you know better, does an aborted landing make more sense? Or do you have any more questions or comments? I'd like to hear about it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to learn anything and everything aviation. Till then, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.